Hello brothers and sisters, I just wanted to come in here really quick and just show you how wonderful God is and that he can use almost just, or he can use anything to communicate with us. And this is what he does sometimes. He show me these kind of rainbows when I'm feeling down or something. And you know, he gives me these rainbows of promise and just tells me that everything is going to be okay um, and that my future is bright. I always see rainbow if, you know, if I'm looking to the future and I'm hoping for something and then when he gives me rainbow then I know, you know, that the future is holding something good for me. Yeah, he can I just think God is so wonderful, he can just use anything to communicate with us. He can even use numbers or movies or adverbs, um even newspaper, the nature, you know, sometimes when I'm praising God or something, you know, he shines his light on me very brightly. And you know, the, it is always so cloudy here in Iceland. So when he does it, you know, I feel like, I f really feel his presence and like he is com communicating with me uh, through the sun, you know. And it has happened that I was like, I was sitting in my room and I was communicating with God and he, the sun um, came through the window and to this mirror and to my room and it made a rainbow on my curtains, you know. It is so wonderful how, you know, God can use anything to just make us f feel um, good or teach us or show us something. He, he can just use anything. Um, and I remember when my, my bird died and this bird was very dear to me. I had him for nine years. Um, and I was just worrying if I would see him again. Um, so I asked God if, if my bird was doing okay, that if he was in heaven or not. And then he sent a big butterfly and it, it flew before my eyes and it stopped there for a while and then it flew away and then I could hear the birds singing above me they were like tiny birds sitting um, above me and I actually cried when he did that because then I knew that you know my my bird is okay he's doing okay in heaven and I know that you know our pets go to heaven you know, God is out there. And I also thought it was so wonderful because, you know, we don't have those big butterflies in Iceland. We all only have, like, small ones, gray. But this was so special. This was a big one. It was black and, and red. It was so wonderful. God is so good. And I know that, you know, when God does these things, it is not a coincidence. When he answered my prayers, he even used people. He used people to um, answer my prayers, and it is always on time. He is always working with me on his perfect timing. It's so good. And I, I just remember when I was new in Christ. Um, you know, I I am still pretty new in Christ because I got. I think my walk with Christ has only been for like two years um, and you know I just remember that you know God never gave me more than I could bear he never gave me too much to handle you know so you know 
I was pretty like ignorant, ignorant about what is sin and what is not sin. And you know, so when I was new in Christ, and I heard some minister that told me, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, and I was like. If that is what Christianity is about, then I don't want to be a part of it. Like, I did not agree that th that the sin was wrong, you know, because I thought it was so normal. And I was not ready to hear it from another person. And then God, he told me, you know, don't worry, child. Just look, look forward. Keep on going. Your future is bright. So I never gave up, you know. And so he showed me over time what is sin and what is not. And he gave me that when I was ready for it. When I was ready to hear that this is sin and I have to stop doing that. And you know, he was just growing me and making me stronger in my faith. And I just, I, I always knew that it was not a coincidence that he was showing me these things. It was not a coincidence. He was really teaching me. And I understood later that it was the Holy Spirit that was cheating me through other people, also by the words. But, you know, he, I was, I did not read my Bible uh, that much. If I'm being honest, I did not read my Bible. But he still used everything that he could to communicate with me because he knew that I really believed in Jesus Christ. And, you know, so I got filled with the Holy Spirit and I did not even know that the Spirit was inside of me and that it was cheating me and, you know, that God was working with me over time, you know. And I always, always, I remember I always asked the Lord, you know, I want more revelation, I want to know you more, I want to, I feel like there's so much that I don't know. And because I asked for knowledge, He gave me knowledge more and more. You know, God is, He is so wonderful. He um so when i think about it now i'm like wow you know god he has changed me so much through a short period of time and you know um the time is short you know jesus is coming soon so i believe that he's doing this to many other people right now he is working in them uh, and maybe they're not aware aware of it but he is working with them and i think he does to those who want to know more who want to you know um get to know god more you know so because i was so curious i did not want to give up i always wanted to know the truth and I told God, you know, I will never stop seeking you until I know the truth. And that is what I've been doing. I've been seeking him. And that is why he gives me revelation. Because if, if you seek him, you will find him. If you ask, you will receive. It is, it is so true, you know. So, you know, when we really seek God, he will um seek us you know he we will find it we will find out who god really is you know we will never understand fully how god works and how wonderful he is and you know he knows everything we will never know it like fully but you know god is so good so he gives us revelation he gives us knowledge so yeah, we, we cannot rely on us or other people. We have to lean on God for all understanding. Just know that, you know, you don't always need to know everything, you know. You just need to trust God, you know. Get to know Him, know that He is good, that He is just. And, you know, just trust God, you know. Um, and if you just look at Jesus, you will not be deceived. I know that there are many false teachers out there. I know I'm just going in circles, but I just feel so passionate about God. And I love to talk about God. I love to talk about Jesus. I love to talk about the Holy Spirit. 
and I just wanted to give you an you know idea of how amazing he is and I also if I think about you know my YouTube channel you know if I think about it you know maybe one year ago or something or two years ago I would never uh, imagine myself talking on YouTube or doing something like this and I'm you know because I would I would just be scared you know God he's making me more bold and so I don't feel scared anymore to talk about God or um, to stand up for my faith and you know as soon as I started this channel he has been giving me dreams you know rapture dreams tribulation dreams and all that and I just feel so grateful I feel so anointed because you know it is not like um, it, it is not like God has to give me dreams or he has to bless me but he does anyways because he loves me and you know it is so wonderful how God bless his children how awesome he is and I don't want anyone to miss out on this you know because anyone can have this relationship with God you know anyone anyone can have this relationship with him if with him if they just seek him you know because if you seek him you will find him and you know that is also with the truth if you seek the truth you will find the truth and you know God he just wants to have a relationship with us and no one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ so you know you have to accept Jesus Christ um, he is your savior. He died on the cross for your sins. He lived a perfect life. And then he died on the cross for your sins. For all your sins. So he dismisses your case. You were presented to hell. But you know God. God loves. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only and begotten son. That whosoever shall believe on him. Will not perish but have everlasting life. And God, he doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants all to come to repentance. So yeah, God is just. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, thank you for listening to me. <laughs> Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.